What's going on everyone? Your boy D Simon Shi is back with another video. In this video, I will talk about how I lost $32,000 from solving a Rubik's Cube. Now before we get into that, this is my new place, my new apartment, and it's all set up. So I'm all unpacked, but everything's still a little empty. I did solve my 17 by 17 Rubik's Cube all underwater last week which took four hours. Other than that, I've been driving from Virginia to California and we've been road tripping. I haven't touched literally anything, any cube. They're, they are all in this suitcase and bag. So I think I'm gonna put a little on the shelf right now. All this untouched. Gotta bring out all the essential through this cube. Here's an update on my 17 by 17. It is all disassembled and pretty much cleaned or dried off. So all the, the rust dirtiness is out. And over here we have the, you know, the center caps, screws, springs. So that's an update on that. We will see on the magnetizing of this puzzle. Um, I don't know when I'll put this back together, but it's gonna be another huge project. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what I should do. All right, here are some of my main cubes on that shelf. There's no challenges this week, but mainly an information guide for those who wants to start making money on YouTube, creating different videos. Exactly four years ago, I solved this 13 by 13 Rubik's Cube. And it's all wrapped up because the stickers are falling apart. One day I'll have to remove all the stickers and re-sticker it and also clean the inside because it's very gooey. Four years ago I posted that video and within six months it reached 100,000 views. So of December 2016, 100K posted August 2016. After that it went exponential and now it has more than 16 million views. And at that time I had 200 subscribers so I didn't really know that you could make money off YouTube. But let me take you onto my computer and show you what I missed out. Now we are here in YouTube Studio. If I go to Videos tab, the main number we want to look at is CPM. So on my recent video, the 39,000 views currently. When we go to the Analytics section, we can click on Revenue. We can see right now I am making $46.66 so far. Now if we can see here, $4.22 is my playback based CPM. What that means is every 1,000 views, I can earn $4.22. But some people have ad blockers turned on and it's based on which area are people watching your videos from. So that's my CPM. I average around three to four dollars. I also forgot to mention, to be monetized on your YouTube channel, you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time on all your videos within the past year. Once you do that, you can sign up for the YouTube partnership program and that'll get your videos monetized. Once you do that, then you'll have to make at least $100 until YouTube or Google pays you. So they'll send a direct deposit into your bank account. Now in my 16 million views, let's say I earn an average of $2 per 1,000 views. $2 CPM, that means I will earn $2,000 for each 1 million views. So $2,000 for each 1 million views, 16 million, 2,000 times 16, that's $32,000 that I could have earned. Now why can't I earn any money from that right now? It's because I have a copyright song in this. Now for those of you who really want to start YouTube or thinking about getting into the YouTube space, solving Rubik's Cube or any hobby you like, you want to make sure that you have non-copyright song in your music because you'll never know when a viral video will happen on your channel. But at the end, I also got some licensing deal with the video. So people use the video instead of the music, so just the video itself and they can put their own music. And some of you might know from my second channel that I also swam at Virginia Tech. So I had to go through a process and sign some forms. So I don't mention that I am a student athlete. I'm a collegiate level NCAA athlete in the USA. That's it. That being said that I was a student athlete, a swimmer at Virginia Tech, 
Sergio Lopez Miro, the head coach of Virginia Tech swimming and diving team, has been a great influence in my life, so I want to help him out. Currently, he has around 850 subscribers. I want to get him to the 1,000 subscriber mark, so he needs 150 more subscribers. There's going to be two giveaways that I'll be doing. One's a gift card and one's a special surprise. All you have to do is click on the video I have in the description below. Make sure you are subscribed and comment your favorite stuff about the swimming sport overall. Once you do that, come back to my channel, type in done in the comment and you'll be entered. After 24 hours, we will select two comments to be the winner of that. Make sure you subscribe to him to help him out and comment your favorite thing about swimming in his video and then come back to my video and comment done. But yesterday, my x video just been copyrighted. I know it's getting close to 200,000 views and after 100,000 views, you cannot edit the sound anymore. So if you do have a copyright song and your video views is less than 100,000 views, you can still mute the song or change the song. But after it hits 100K, you can't edit it and you're stuck with that forever. And I also saw one of the comments by Music by Aiden dispute the claim, I'm getting it sorted. So I have disputed it. Hopefully it will all resolve. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Right now, I'm in my new apartment. This is a transition period of my life, so I'm excited and extremely nervous, but hopefully things will get better across the world. I can't believe I posted my most viral video of solving this 13 by 13 Rubik's Cube four years ago, and so much has changed since then. Be sure to help my swim coach out by going to the description, entering the giveaway. There will be two giveaways I will have by doing that. I'll do a challenge for next week. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.